Here's an example. We're going to find the tangent line to the equation given at the point 2, 1. This is found on page 357, number 50. Oh. All right, so directions, yeah, we've been there, done that. We just have e to the x type of function to deal with. So I have a point, and I need to find the slope if I'm going to find a tangent line. So let's find the derivative first. I know from my notes that the derivative of e to the u is equal to e to the u times u prime. So let's apply y prime is equal to e to the u times u prime, which is negative 2 plus 2x. All right, I don't care what this looks like. I'm going to just leave it as is, and I'm going to plug in 2, because I need to find the slope at 2. And when I do that, 2 goes in for x here, and I get negative 4 plus 4 gives me 0, times negative 2 plus 4 gives me 2. So what do I have? 1 times 2, slope is equal to 2. So I have a slope and I have a point. Here we go. y minus 1 equals 2 times x minus 2. And I'm good with that. If you're good with it, if you want to put it in y equals mx plus b form, what does that look like? y equals 2x negative 4 plus 1 minus 3. Done. All right, another example dealing with the indefinite integral. This is from page 358, and it is number 90. Wow, we're going to have so much fun tomorrow. All right, so what do I know? Integral of e to the u du is equal to e to the u plus c. All right, so let's let's deal with my e to the u. So what am I going to call u? Well, hmm, do I have an e to the u scenario? It looks like I have the denominator. Let's call the denominator u. So that's 1 plus e to the 2x, then du is equal to, well, the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of e to the 2x, well, the derivative of e to the u is e to the u times u prime, so that's e to the 2x, u prime is 2, dx. Ah. So it gets a little complicated. Not so bad. We can handle this. So I need a 2 dx. I have the numerator as e to the 2x, so I need the 2. So I'm going to put the 2 here, and that means I have to multiply by 1 half. So what do I have? 1 half times the integral of du over u. Well, that looks familiar. 1 half ln of u, well, what is u? 1 plus e to the 2x plus a constant. Do I need those absolute value bars there? Hmm. I'll leave that question up for you.